Scorpio, welcome to this just in time tarot reading. If you are watching this, trust that there is a message here for you. And that message begins with a new start is coming. Amen. Hallelujah. I just feel the energy in this card. It feels like the full energy of this Oracle deck. And, you know, it feels like there is something that is a fresh new start, like a whole new cycle or chapter opening. And it feels really positive. So new moon energy can bring new beginnings. It could be new love. It could be new job, career, new home. We will get some more information. So Scorpio, I'm going to the Oracle of the Angels now. And we have transformation. Okay. Now it feels like there's a new beginning coming that is going to transform your life in some way. And I do get death card vibes when I look at this card here where it is often through shedding an old skin, letting go of a past situation and embracing change that we really do shift our life towards the new. So a transformational new start is coming, but maybe you will need to let go here as well as part of the process. Okay, let's go to the full tarot deck. I've got the beautiful round accurate AF tarot here, Scorpio. And you remember the death card is your major arcana. So you are no stranger to shedding of old skin, Scorpio. Okay, I've got the page of cups here. It's called the dawn of cups in this deck. And it really talks about being curious to new beginnings and going on a journey of discovery. Now, for me as a reader, this often talks about synchronistic moments that change our whole life for example a conversation that you have with somebody that just tips you off about something you pursue it and then you know it changes your whole life like you something that you discover here maybe a new hobby that becomes a new career or you bump into somebody and you get chatting with them and they end up being the person you marry now it sounds far-fetched but we all know people that have those stories and the Dawn of Cups is some kind of unexpected encounter that brings you the Ace of Cups, an emotional new start. It's going to transform your reality and bring in new positive energy. The Seven of Cups is here. And this does talk about opportunity, okay? But it can often say that we, we need to take grounded action as well to realize the potential here. Otherwise, it can just remain simply potential. Oh my goodness, the world is here. Achievement or fulfillment. So the world is always a new cycle opening. It's actually the very last major arcana card that comes after the final judgment. So there might be a judgment call that you're needing to make, Scorpio. Judgment of what to release. Judgment to embrace the new here. But generally the world is a victory card. Uh, it really talks about the fact that you've arrived at exactly the right place in your life right now for the fulfillment of, you know, a new goal. And it's through vulnerably moving forward that we embrace that victory. Page of Swords is here too. And it's funny because I always say the pages, they set us up for the ace of the same suit, meaning we've got the precursor to the ace of cups and the ace of swords, which would be a breakthrough a breakthrough emotional new beginning here and that brings clarity that brings new success and new inspiration to your life what all oh, the empress wow okay centered and abundant the empress is this beautiful energy of abundance and receiving growth so she is the indication that on this new journey Things will grow, things will flourish. It's a very beautiful energy. So if this happens to be a new business journey for you, it's saying there is financial success available on that path. If this is meeting a new partner, the Empress would indicate that this can go to the next level. You might even have a family with this person or really, you know, put down roots and create a beautiful home with them. You know, it really says that you are creating something solid, stable, that has a lot of growth in it. 
But the hanged man is here and the hanged man is the gateway that we are looking at. This is the transition that you find yourself in now and it's the card that comes before the death card, your major arcana in the sequence of cards. So Scorpio, you are being asked to step up in your power and release and step onto this new path and you will not look back. This is the gateway to the world, to your new world. And in this new world, the Empress is going to greet you and align you to some kind of far greater growth and abundance than I think that you really could have expected for your life. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this message, Scorpio. If you'd like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, please do follow the first link down below to my website where you can check those out. And don't forget to like, share, comment. Please do hit subscribe on your way out. I'd be super grateful for that. And I am just wishing you all the love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.